Hey guys, I'm here from Kamazi. Um, so we've been walking on this nice little elephant trail in the bush. It is already quite hot, uh, as you can see. Um, came across this uh, big uh, rock on the path where it was actually recently overturned. Um, the rock itself probably weighs about 30 kilograms, so I can really only see the only thing that could have moved it was uh, an, an elephant. But uh, very nice here. You notice this nice little round ball that was buried actually under the rock. Um, <coughs> obviously, on inspection, we can see that it is a, a dung beetle ball. Uh, the ball actually got a bit hurt in the process of overturning the rock. So, yeah, let's see what's inside. There we go. As you guys can see, there's a beetle inside. Which is one of our dung beetles. Everybody knows um, Africa or synonymous with Africa are these uh, dung beetles that's rolling the balls all over the roads. Obviously play a very important part in the ecology. They clean up the bush, they remove the dung of the big herbivores to put it either under the ground or just to dismantle it and then actually allowing the grass that was under the dung patch to actually continue growing and not to die. So you can imagine if dung lies around everywhere in the bush, it takes away um, growing space for the grass. And it can also have an outbreak of flies, as what happened in some parts in Australia. So these guys play a very important role, um, but of course you get different dung beetles. You don't get just the one that rolls away a ball. But firstly, let's say why they make the ball. There's your answer. They make a ball, they lay an egg in the ball. While the male is rolling away, the female so long lays an egg. They put a, the dung ball under the ground and there's a larvae inside every dung ball. And um, the dung beetle will actually uh, live in there. It will go through its different life cycles. It will pupate and then it, be it becomes an adult um, dung beetle uh, one day. So it is already the end of April almost, mid of mid-April. You almost don't see any more dung beetles around, so they only come out in the summertime. In the winter time, they disappear, so um, they go underground as well. This one is probably ready to come out as an adult actually next uh, summer, so it will remain in there until conditions are favorable again next summer with lots of moisture and lots of soft dung from the from the animals. Just a quick rundown on the different, this specific dung beetle will be a telecorporate dung beetle. In other words, it takes its ball away from the dung patch. You get uh, uh, endocorporates that only lives inside the dung patch. Then you get uh, paracorporates that actually tunnels underneath the dung patch, which is your, maybe your very large uh, rhino dung beetles. And then you get your kleptocorporates that actually will steal the dung balls from other dung beetles so yeah very important part of our ecology is the dung beetle um, nice to find one we're going to put it down nicely and we're going to put the rock back on top and see maybe we didn't interrupt or he wasn't interrupted too much in his uh, uh, stage of being under the ground for the summer for the winter so guys yeah on that note uh, make sure to uh, give us some uh, feedback and also to come with some requests things that you want to see. We'll see you in the next episode.